Hi, I'm Nick, and today I've been migrating MySQL databases between different servers. So I figured I'd create a quick video on how to actually use the MySQL command line tool to back up and restore databases. And specifically in this video is how to restore a database. So I'm assuming you've already created either your MySQL dump or created an export through something like phpMyAdmin, and you already have your database backup file, that .sql file. So a couple of things you'll need for this is you'll need to be able to SSH into your server. Now this particular server is a DigitalOcean droplet. And so I have full SSH access and I'm currently SSH'd in, logged in as this username. And then the other thing that you'll need is you'll need the username and password for the MySQL user account that you want to own that database, that information. So if you're using some sort of control panel platform like cPanel or CyberPanel, you'll likely need to go through those control panels to create the database itself. Uh, but once the database is already created, the backup and restore is super simple directly from the command line. The first thing I'll do is I'll just do a quick ls-la. So we'll list out every single file that I have currently in this directory. This is just the home directory for this particular user for this website. And I haven't actually uploaded my SQL file, but it's very important that you actually upload your database backup into your server. So there's a very simple way you can do it using the SCP command or secure copy. So in my case, I'm actually gonna open up a new terminal, which is gonna kick me back over into Windows because that's what my uh, computer here is actually on. And uh, I'm gonna use the secure copy command and I'm gonna move my local saved backup file from my computer to my server in the cloud and then we can actually do the backup restoration. So using the SCP command, it basically takes two parameters. The first one is the file location you want to send from, whether that's remote or local file, it doesn't matter. So in this case, I'm gonna be sending a local file, which is in my downloads folder, and it's labeled as this uh, file. And then I'm gonna send it to this particular server. So right here where I have this private box typed, that's just an alias for the username and IP address that I'm connecting to on this server. But you would just type in your username and IP address there. And then you want the remote location. In this case, I'm going to the home slash heytuts.com slash. So it's basically just going to throw it into this same folder that we were already working with. So if I hit enter, you should see the SCP prompt where it's going to start uploading the file, gives you the percentage and how much has been transferred and your actual upload rate and an approximate ETA. Now, if you're doing the opposite and you're downloading a file, so say we were downloading the same file from the server itself, it would just give you the exact same information, just the rate that it's actually downloading. And once the upload's complete, we'll actually just exit out of this terminal, go back over to the remote server. And if I run it quick, ls-la, you'll see that I have this file that's been uploaded. This particular database backup is uncompressed and it's about 30 megabytes, which is the reason why I'm going through the command line instead of using phpMyAdmin, because currently the server has upload limits and I didn't feel like changing those. So now that we actually have our database backup file uploaded to our server, we're gonna go ahead and connect to the MySQL server itself. So we use the MySQL command with the tech u flag, probably type that right, MySQL tech u, and then specify the username of your MySQL account. In this case, it's hey t underscore main for me. And then you wanna use the dash p flag, which is gonna tell MySQL to prompt you for a password to log in. And then if you already know the database name, you can just type in that database name. Now I do already know mine, but I'll demonstrate what it looks like when you don't know it. So you type in that, it'll prompt you for your password. So let me just type that in. And once you're connected, you'll see if you have a database currently selected right in here, it says none for me, because I'm not selected to one. But if you are selecting your database, it'll display there. If you're unsure of what your database name is, you can use the show command. So show databases, semicolon, make sure you put the semicolon. And then it'll list out all the databases that you currently have access to. So we can use the use command and select that particular database, which just has the same, which just has the same username as the database name for myself. So once we're inside of MySQL here, we know our database exists and we know our database name, we can actually upload our database backup or actually install that database backup. So we need to exit out of MySQL. I'll just clear the prompt real quick. So now we can actually restore that backup that we have uploaded to our server. Again, we use the MySQL command. 
the tech U flag and give our username the tech P flag to get prompted for a password, and then the name of the database table itself, which in my case is the same as the username. And then we'll use the greater than sign and specify the location of the actual uh, database backup that we're gonna restore. Now, in this case, it's that file that I uploaded, which is stored in my home directory, which is the tilde slash, and then the actual file itself. We'll hit enter, get prompted for our password, type in your password, and then it should take a little bit of time, depending on how large your database is. This one's only 30 megabytes, so it's not super big. And then whenever your process is complete, you might get an error message like this, since I have an issue with my SQL syntax apparently, uh, but your database should be uploaded now. So if we just connect back to our server and log into our MySQL account, and we've already selected the username here, or question the, uh, the database name, so we'll use the show tables name, show tables um, command, and we'll show all the table names that are listed inside of our database itself. So we know our database has been created and our backup has been actually restored from our fresh blank slate of a database. Hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for how to actually create the database backup using MySQL dump, I have a separate video on that and I'll catch you in the next one.